So one thing you mentioned that was very specific to GH, and this is real GH, is that all of it dissolved as soon as the water hit it. Yes. And something that's them. super common with not only the fake pens, because that's how I used to test to see if they were fake, is right. I'd push the water in, and if it didn't dissolve immediately, it was no good. Now, I've had I've had humatrope, and, you know, there's yep. some, some stories out there about when I... And I had first had growth hormone, and the orig original humotropes that I got in, in this in this six pack bricks, they did dissolve instantly. But sometimes there'd be a little bit that was still stuck to the to the glass. But you just rotate it like I just did, and it would dissolve again. There, I'm talking chunks. No, no, no. Yeah. And I've seen that too with the stuff that's you know. Uh, all the generics are pretty much different. chunky. They're all chunky, and and another thing about this is that I have, and I have a. I have a generic. Let me grab it real quick so you can see what it looks like while we're at it. Here's the uh, here's the Humalog. Okay, and here's the uh, regular insulin. Okay. And do you prefer the big bottles or do you like the quick pens better? I actually like these because I I like to actually take the GH and then you know yeah I I know there's uh, other. Other top guys out there that say uh, Milos in particular that says do never mix GH and insulin. I actually think to the contrary. I think you actually have to. I think it be for the for the reason that one kind of affects the other. Uh, and I think that I think a lot of the uh, studies that are done have to do with natural GH. When you inject endogenous sources, you really over. You you don't have to worry about these minute things. Okay, so here's here's some stuff that I got. See how it fell so quickly. See how the 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 and it's it's more like a, a hard chalk. It looks like a hard chalk, and you can actually I don't know if you can see it from there, but it, the chalk itself looks like it's been pressed in layers, like like shale, you know, like you or limestone or something like that, where it's layer, layer, layer. If you look really close, you can't see. And I'll just flip it back and it just slides back. Okay, now the cartridge, the, the genotrope and cartridge is different than the humotrope vials and the vials, okay? That's more compressed. I mean, if it one cc dilutes the whole thing, it's 36 IUs. The humotrope vials initially were uh, 12 IUs and then 15 IUs per 5 ml. So you put 5 cc's of water, for only you know 15 I use of GH, that's a lot more water than what's being used these days. So these days, everything's concentrated. I like the Genotropin. Uh, Pfizer's a great company. Um, I like Humatrope. Lily's a great company. I think they're both neck and neck. I don't see much of a difference between the two. When it comes to stability, uh, a GH lasting you know over 30 days uh, once you're using it. Uh, or if it has to be shipped, you want to get the uh, Nordotropin. The Nordotropin is premixed, the, the one that is premixed, and the one that's premixed can can be shipped at room temperatures for, you know, and, and, and stay at room temperatures for periods of time. They're all, they're all of them have different different little uh, things. And some some of the GH when you like when you mix the GH, some of them are good twenty eight, eight days. Some of them are good uh, eight. 14 some of them are good you know so it just depends on which one you, like the one that um brazi was talking about the other day you had to use the whole thing at once sarah stem you have to use the whole thing at one time there was a myth about the water making a difference but it's not true the water makes no difference in it yeah and i think that was just a sales technique of, of someone trying to sell you a different type of water for more money than sterile water probably Five more dollars <laughs> yeah something like that so yeah, so there you have uh, the way you mix up one of those cartridges, and there's there's a lot of GH I see now that that's in the country, that is is uh, Turkish. Pfizer has has a manufacturer dis distribution manufacturer all over the world, so they may make one brand for the U.S. Their their particular lot for the U.S. may look different than a lot for Turkey. Uh, the one that I've seen from Turkey looks looks it, it's the whole pen. It's a disposable pen. It all comes together. There's no cartridge that goes in and out of the pen. And so they're different. You may want to see that and you may think, oh, well, this one's fake. It's not. There, It just depends on where. And that one's not fake either. That's real too. It just has to go through customs. And, you you know, it, if you're going to get something like that, my recommendation is just try to get it in the wintertime if, if, if you are. Uh, mine, mine didn't have to go through customs. So that's, that's you know, one of the advantages. But they're all they're all different. If, if you if you do have to get something, a growth that goes through customs and if you are buying anything like uh, Chinese or whatever, 
uh, it's going to be destroyed. Even even real GH, uh, a lot of it can get pretty weak if it goes through customs. I wouldn't get anything other than the brands which are stable and the manufacturers, whether it be Pfizer, Lilly, you can go to their website and their site will have a description of the insert and the drug, uh, the, the package and handling. So the ha handling and packaging of the drug, it tells you how it should be shipped, how it should be stored, how it should be uh, held in your, you know, stored in your home before, after it's mixed, the whole nine yards, how, how long it's good for and everything. So when you get a product, check the lot number, make sure the lot number matches with the lot number from the, from the uh, manufacturer. That's number one. Don't invest in growth hormone unless you're prepared to get pharmaceutical. It's just simply not worth wondering your, whether your growth is real or not. If you are going to get pharmaceutical growth and you are getting it imported, which is probably one of the easier ways to get it, it's very difficult to get things inside uh, from within the United States. Yeah, you, you pretty much have to have someone stealing it for you if you don't have a prescription for it. And if you do, it's going to cost an astronomical amount of money. And if you don't, if you do have a prescription for it and you're getting it, you're getting it covered and you don't have something wrong with you, there's insurance fraud. You know, when it comes to GH, it's an investment. It's not something you're going to get your hands numb from or any of these side effects that people tell you from, you know, with the first several, several uh, months of using it. And when it boils down to how much you should use, it varies on a milligram per kilogram uh, for each person's body weight, but in general, okay, you can't really go wrong with a half an IU um, four times a day for bodybuilding, up to seven to eight times a day, depending on how many times you eat, or simply just taking one IU four times a day. That works also very good. There's a lot of uh, talk on the internet about using higher dosages. Then uh, one IU at a time, two IUs at a time has a purpose for more like tendon reinforcement and, 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 and joints and stuff like that. So they, they have a purpose. The absolute smallest amount you need for GH is for fat burning. And then right above that is for muscle building. And then anything beyond that starts to go towards organ growth, which actually, if you think about it, it, it doesn't mean that if you take six IUs at once, uh, you know, uh, then, then the same proportion of the GH that would have been used on a smaller level to build muscle still gets used. So even though it's the smaller percentage of six IUs, two IUs get used for building muscle. No, if you take six IUs, still less than one IU, up, up to one IU, if spaced out throughout the day, is the most you can get muscle from. It, that's, that's just the most. So if you're gonna make the investment, Make the investment with the knowledge of knowing and don't waste the drug. It just it's it's to the point where if you take more than what's necessary, it's overkill and it affects your body's ability to produce insulin. And that becomes a counterproductive thing if you end up having to take insulin on a regular basis just because you're taking large amounts of growth. <music>